Well, welcome back. We were taking a look at that cloud cover that kind of stuck with us throughout the day. You really see a lot of those high clouds moving in over the area, and it really did try to rain. But those temperatures really keeping things kind of suppressed. As you see, colder weather is going to keep that precipitation from really coming in, unless it's like snow or so. But we're not really seeing a whole lot of that right now. But as we make our way into the evening and overnight, could see a lot of those thunderstorms pushing into our area. We'll take a closer look a little bit later. Right now, temperatures in the 60s, sitting there at 68 with that humidity really up high in 70. We're going to see a lot of those southeasterly winds pull some of that moisture into our area as we get through the rest of the night. Right now, you're taking a good look across the nation, seeing that high pressure system really pushing that frontal system out of the area, really seeing those temperatures touch down into the 50s and 60s tonight. And then across San Angelo, you're really seeing in the Contra Valley it come up from Mexico and push into our area, seeing a lot of those around Brownsville, starting to see a lot of that moisture moving in. And then we're going to take a look at this interesting development making its way down the west coast. That's going to be a low pressure system really just kind of skirting its way down there seeing a lot of the convectivity making its way over those mountains and that's what's going to push into our area as well as it starts to interact with that low pressure system sitting over Texas where you're going to see a lot of that moisture kind of this fire hose effect really coming up from the southwest and that's what's going to be impacting us later on tonight as we get through those evening hours where you could see potential for a little bit of those thunderstorms you can see it just skirting right down there to the southwest of the Concho Valley but really just a lot of cloud cover going to be keeping those temperatures down in the mid 70s high res radar really showing you not a whole lot of clouds or anything moving into our area right now, but we are keeping our close eye on the horizon to make sure when that severe weather does break out, everyone's aware, you're alert, and you know how to stay safe. The future cast is going to be showing us just how fast those storms will be pulling into our area by Sunday morning and really sticking with us throughout the day as temperatures even warm up. And that cloud cover going to kind of push off towards the afternoon. You could see an opportunity for an afternoon thunderstorm or so. The high uh, or the upper level pattern really going to give you an idea of just how strong or the pressure gradient is on these storms. See that low pressure system pushing out of our area. And you start to see this small sort of low pressure trough making its way down into Arizona. And that's what kind of has our uh, interest peak right now when we talk about a lot of this confluence right here or these two areas of fast moving air pulling moisture into the Concho Valley. Right now you're going to see just how it kind of spreads out and becomes more uniform. And that's going to really speed those storms up. And we talk about that low pressure system off the west coast. And that's what's going to be pulling into our area. As you see some really intense ridging all the way up into Wisconsin and that's what really has our interest peaked as far as severe weather making its way by next week. Moisture track are going to show you just how much that moisture will pull all the way up into Nebraska and just how intense it's going to be as we prepare for the next round of severe weather. So as we get through our frontal track are going to show you that moisture really bubbling up and then staying up in that Kansas region and it gets more and more intense as we make our way through the week. Wednesday we might see a little bit of a break where you start seeing more widespread thunderstorms throughout the area. So we're going to get a good look at those temperatures right now now when we say, hey, this weather could be severe as we get ready for a lot of those necessary elements for severe weather. Temperatures hanging out into the 60s right now and tonight they're not going to drop too much more, just down into the lower 60s with a chance for those thunderstorms we were talking about in the early Sunday morning, Sunday morning hours. And then tomorrow morning that cloud cover really going to help us stay cooler on as we stay in those mid 70s. And that'll take us through all the way into that fourth week of May as we start to see those temperatures slowly warm up with those clouds breaking up slowly throughout the day. And then we're going to see those temperatures kind of touch back into an average of those 90s and 60s. So Nathan, we might see a break with that drought, but for the most part, we're really hoping that there's a lot more rain associated with it. Back to you.